Imagine a world where AI knows more about the viruses lurking in our oceans than we do. Oh wait, you don't have to imagine it. It's happening right now. 160,000 new viruses discovered by AI, and that's just the beginning. But here's the kicker. The very minds behind this AI revolution are starting to sound the alarm. Buckle up, science lovers. We're in for a wild ride through the thrilling and terrifying world of AI breakthroughs. Hey there, my brilliant Bunsen burners and cunning code breakers. Theodore here, ready to ignite your synapses with another mind-bending episode of our show. Today we're diving deep into the rabbit hole of AI breakthroughs, and let me tell you, it's a doozy. We've got Nobel Prize winning AI pioneers who've taught machines to think and remember. Sounds great, right? Well, hold on to your lab coats, because now these same geniuses are waving red flags about the very tech they helped create. Talk about a plot twist. But wait, there's more. We're also uncovering how AI is playing virus detective in the deepest, darkest corners of our planet. Who knew those hydrothermal vents were hiding more than just weird fish, huh? Oh, and just when you thought AI had it all figured out, we'll reveal a sneaky little flaw that's got the potential to turn our tech-driven world on its head. It's like finding out Superman is allergic to his own cape. So grab your thinking caps and maybe a stress ball. We're about to embark on a roller coaster ride through the thrilling and slightly terrifying world of AI. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll either be ready to welcome our new AI overlords or start stockpiling tinfoil hats. Let's dive in. All right, so today we are diving into AI. And, well, let's just say it's gotten pretty wild out there. Yeah, it really has. AI is everywhere these days. But the thing that's really got people's attention is what it can do for science. And not just small steps, right? We're talking huge discoveries, like AI uncovering secrets that we've been in the dark about for centuries. It's kind of crazy, like this whole thing with AI finding over 160,000 new viruses. I mean, what? It's true. This AI model, LucaPro, it just went through a massive amount of genetic data. And from that, it was able to identify these patterns that show all these viruses we'd never even known about before. Think about that. That's more viruses than we've discovered over the last hundred years. More in the past century. Wow. Makes you think, like, what else don't we know? But it is exciting, though, isn't it, that AI is helping us figure these things out? It really is. And the thing is, it's not like these viruses were hidden in some lab somewhere. They were right there in some of the most extreme places on Earth, too. Like, crazy hot springs, those hydrothermal vents way down in the ocean, even just floating around in the air we breathe. So these aren't the viruses that give us a common cold. What's different about these newly discovered ones? Well, these are RNA viruses. They're known for being incredibly diverse and playing a really important role in different ecosystems. You know, they can affect everything from how other organisms' populations are regulated to even how their hosts evolve. So this is about more than just these viruses existing, but how they impact life as a whole, right? Exactly. And that's why this is such a big deal. This isn't just adding a bunch of new names to a list. This is about understanding how everything is connected on our planet, the whole picture. It really makes you think about the potential. Welcome back to the deep dive. If AI can find these hidden viruses, what else is it capable of uncovering? What other secrets are out there? That's the big question, isn't it? And it's one that has a lot of researchers feeling really optimistic about the future of AI and discovery, like we're just getting started. It really is amazing to think about. Speaking of amazing AI, did you hear about AI winning a Nobel Prize this year? Yeah, and not just any Nobel Prize, we're talking physics. It was awarded to two big names in AI, John Hopfield and of course, Jeffrey Hinton, for their work on artificial neural network. Okay, so I have to be honest, when I hear Jeffrey Hinton, I instantly think the godfather of AI, the no. as a legend. He's definitely earned that title in the AI world, but to really get why their work was so important, we need to dig a little deeper into what both Hotfield and Hinton did. So Hotfield, he was the one who figured out how to make these artificial systems that could actually store images and then, get this, 
reconstruct them too. So like giving machines a memory, basically. It's like, you know, when you have a word on the tip of your tongue, that's what Hopfield's work did for machines, trying to make them remember and retrieve information like our brains do. Man, that's wild. <laughs> so he basically laid the groundwork for everything that came after. Oh, absolutely. And then you have Hinton coming in, pushing things even further. He wasn't content with machines just storing data. He wanted them to understand it. Hinton figured out how to train machines to analyze data on their own, see the patterns, and really pick out what was important. Like teaching a machine to actually get what something is, yeah. not just memorize a name for it. That's it. It's like instead of just saying cat because it saw a label, the machine could look at a picture and figure out, okay, this is a cat because of these things. So we've got Hopfield giving machines memory, Hinton teaching them to think. Hmm? Makes sense to get a Nobel Prize for that, huh? No doubt about it. What they did changed everything. I mean, it's the foundation for the whole AI explosion we're seeing. Think about it. Facial recognition, self-driving cars, even those kind of creepy good recommendations you get on Netflix, it all goes back to what Hopfield and Hinton did. Welcome back to The Deep Dive. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about how much their work impacts our lives now. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned earlier about Hinton and him having some concerns about AI. Sounds a little ominous coming from the godfather himself. Yeah. Well, Hinton's been pretty vocal lately about the potential dangers, especially AI developing too fast for us to control. So we're talking like that classic sci-fi trope, you know, the creation taking over. Yeah. Except it's not so fictional anymore. It's a real worry for a lot of people. Hinton even compares it to the Industrial Revolution, right? Huge potential for good, but also the risk of things getting out of hand. It's a lot to think about, for sure. Huh. On one side, we have AI making crazy discoveries, like all those new viruses. But then you have these leading experts saying, hey, this thing could get away from us. It's a tough one. And it's something we're going to have to deal with more and more as AI becomes a bigger part of our lives. Makes you wonder, with everything AI can do, can it really see the world the way we do? We hear about AI image recognition and all that, but well, is that really seeing or is it just algorithms doing their thing? It's a great question because even with all its power, AI's vision still has its limits. Researchers are finding flaws all the time, ways that AI sees things differently than we do. Oh, really? Like what? Give me an example. Well, there was this study out of UTSA recently, and they found this big oversight in a lot of AI image recognition systems. It all comes down to how these systems actually process what they see, specifically something called the alpha channel. Okay, now you've got me curious. What is this alpha channel thing, and what did they overlook? So imagine like putting a piece of tracing paper over a picture. Right. You can kind of see through it, right? The picture underneath is still there, but it's like semi-transparent now. That's basically what the alpha channel does in digital images. It controls how transparent things are. Oh, okay. I get it. So some parts of the image can be more solid, others more see-through. Yeah, exactly. And this is where it gets interesting because a lot of these AI image systems, they don't even look at the alpha channel. They just see the colors, you know, the reds, greens, and blues of each pixel, but they don't take into account how see-through it is. Wait, seriously? That seems like a pretty big oversight. What kind of problems could that cause? Well, these researchers, they wanted to see just how bad it could get. So they came up with this thing called, get this, the alpha dog attack. Basically, by messing with the alpha channel, they could make the AI see things that weren't really there at all. And the crazy part is, to us, looking at the image, everything would seem totally normal. Now, that is both cool and kind of creepy. Did they, like... Give any examples of how this could be used for bad stuff. Oh, yeah, and some of them are pretty scary. For example, they figured out how to change road signs, right? But the changes were invisible to us. Our eyes wouldn't see anything wrong. But for a self-driving car, its AI system would see the sign completely wrong. That's terrifying. So a person driving, they wouldn't even know anything was up, but the car could be getting totally wrong directions. Exactly. And it's not just self-driving cars either. They're able to do the same thing with medical images, like x-rays, scans, that sort of thing. The changes could potentially cause doctors to make the wrong diagnosis. Again, a human doctor wouldn't notice anything strange, but the AI reading the image, it would see something totally different. All right, cyber savvy listeners, let's zoom in on a sneaky little secret in the world of AI vision and why it's got security experts breaking out in a cold sweat. So digital images have this thing called an alpha channel. Think of it as a hidden layer that controls transparency. Now here's the kicker. 
Most AI vision systems are completely blind to this alpha channel. It's like they're missing an entire dimension of the image. Why should this keep you up at night? Well, imagine a bad actor who knows about this blind spot. They could create images that look totally normal to us humans, but contain hidden messages or objects that only AI can see. It's like passing secret notes right under our noses. Picture this. A self-driving car approaches an intersection. The stop sign looks perfectly normal to any human passenger. But thanks to some alpha channel trickery, the AI sees a green light instead. Yikes. This isn't just about traffic mishaps. Think bigger. Security systems, medical diagnoses, satellite imagery analysis. Anywhere AI is our eyes, this vulnerability could be exploited. It's a stark reminder that as AI becomes more integrated into critical systems, its unique way of perceiving the world can be both a strength and a major weakness. And you can bet there are folks out there figuring out how to exploit this as we speak. So next time you hear about the infallible AI systems protecting us, remember, they might have a blind spot bigger than my high school chemistry teacher's bald spot. Now, back to our regularly scheduled panic. I mean programming. Wow. It really makes you realize how differently AI and humans see things mm. and how big of a deal that difference could be. Yeah, it's a reality check. We tend to think of AI like it thinks like us, sees the world the same way. But this whole alpha channel thing, it shows us that's not always true. And it's something we really need to be aware of as AI becomes, you know, more and more a part of our lives. Totally. Just because AI can process tons of information super fast and make these crazy calculations doesn't mean it actually gets the world the way we do. Exactly. This discovery really highlights how important it is to keep researching and not just to make AI better, but to figure out where it's weak, what its limits are. We've got to make sure that as AI gets stronger, it stays a tool that we control, that we understand. We don't want it the other way around. That's a great point to end on. We've covered a lot of ground today, from deep sea viruses to the inner workings of artificial intelligence. It's amazing to think about how AI is showing us these hidden parts of the world, like those thousands of new viruses, but also that it has its own blind spots. The alpha channel vulnerability is a perfect example of that. It's a reminder that while AI has huge potential, it's a tool, and like any tool, it can be used in ways we don't expect, ways that could be harmful if we're not careful. Absolutely. It's about finding that balance, being excited about what AI can do, but also staying cautious, thinking critically about its place in our world. Well said. And that's all the time we have for this deep dive. Until next time, stay curious out there, keep asking questions, and keep your minds open to the ever-changing world around us. intrepid intellects, we've journeyed through the AI wonderland, and what a trip it's been. From virus hunting algorithms to Nobel Prize winning neural networks, we've seen the dizzying heights of AI potential. But oh boy, have we also peeked into some pretty unsettling abysses. You know, it's almost poetic. We started this episode talking about AI discovering hidden viruses, and we're ending it realizing AI itself might have a few bugs in its system. I mean, who would have thought that the key to fooling our silicon-brained overlords was hiding in plain sight all along? It's enough to make you wonder what other surprises are lurking in the code. But here's the kicker, my science-loving pals. For every AI godfather sounding the alarm, there's a team of brilliant minds working to make AI safer, more reliable, and hopefully less likely to accidentally drive us off a cliff because it misread a stop sign. So... What's the takeaway from today's roller coaster ride through the AI landscape? Well, maybe it's this. As we sprint towards our AI assisted future, let's remember to occasionally glance over our shoulders. Not out of paranoia, mind you, but with a healthy dose of that good old scientific skepticism we know and love. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and for goodness sake, keep your eyes peeled for any suspiciously transparent images. Who knows? You might just spot the next big breakthrough or the next big bug. Until next time, this is Theodore, reminding you that in the world of AI, much like in life, things are rarely as simple as they appear. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and whatever you do, don't let the robots read this outro. They might get ideas. <laughs> <laughs>